Hello, in this very short demo we're going to restore single files from a backup volume to production volume using SnapMirror Restore. If you want to restore using SnapMirror you basically have two options. You can restore an entire volume or you can restore one or more single files. Now we'll be restoring single files. Now in this demo we will have a production storage virtual machine on cluster 1 with a production volume which is called VolProd and we have a backup a storage virtual machine on cluster 2 with a backup volume which is called uh, VolBack. So I have three open terminals. The first one is a Linux terminal that has access to a volume in the cluster. And when I list the files I see the .snapshot directory and two files, file 1 and file 2. The second terminal is a login to cluster 1 and when I list the data storage virtual machines I only have one data SVM which is called SVM prod or production. And the third terminal has a session with cluster 2 and this cluster also only has one data SVM called SVM back for backup purposes. So that will be a production and a backup SVM paired across two clusters. Now to list my SnapMirror relations I run SnapMirror show and see that I have a source path of the production SVM with the production volume and the destination path is the backup storage virtual machine with the backup volume and it's a healthy relationship. And when we list the snapshots on the destination volume we see that there is a new snapshot every five minutes and the retention is obviously five because we've got five snapshots we can go back to our client and remove file 1 from the volume. Ok, so that's done. Now let's restore it and have a look at this command because that's what this is about. We see that we restore to the destination path which is our active production volume. And the volume we want to restore from is the backup volume in cluster 2. And the snapshot we want to use, let's just take 5 minutes past 3 which is the last snapshot. And then this is the important bit. We want to restore from the backup volume a file called F1 and we want to restore it to a file called F1 on the production volume. And when we do that it warns us that it will overwrite stuff uh, if it's already there. So we acknowledge and we check our production volume and see that file 1 has been restored. Now let's do it again and we're going to restore file 2. But we're not going to use the same name, we're going to use a different name. We're going to call it file 2 restore for example. And of course it will warn us again uh, that we're going to have right stuff maybe, uh, but we don't care, we simply acknowledge. And when we check we see file 2 is there, but we have restored it under a previous version with a new name. Now finally, if you want to restore more files in one go, you can create a comma separated list like this. Now, if you're interested, I've listed the commands in the description of this video.